So after what seemed like almost over an hour of getting lost, <laughs> I made it and now I need to just meet up with this girl. Uh, she didn't sound mad at me so I might have to buy her a treat <laughs> to make up for my lateness. But yeah, we are here. Isn't this pretty? Hi. You wanna say hello? Hey! <laughs> So this is the patient lady who waited for me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. This is a veggie burger. It's spicy but medium. Cheese inside. It's just uh, some Can you take a video of a lady? Yeah. <laughs> Let them know so they clean their mouth. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Give and to Give Ministry. Today I am doing a question and answer. I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me. The purpose of this was because I felt that it was important that you guys get to know me just a little bit better. You know, it's one thing to have somebody tell you their testimony and certain tips as to how to be healthy and all those other things, but I think it's another thing to actually be able to have that person and get to know them on a more personal level. Not too personal. Some of us have those personalities that just need to, <laughs> that are a little too awkward. I think I'm, a little, I'm, I'm an awkward person socially, so um, I try to bring it back sometimes because I don't want all that awkwardness in front of you guys. I think that's just, that would be too much for you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll try to not be too awkward as I try to be myself. I'm always myself, but as I try to show you more as to who I am. I'll try to be as, as less awkward as I possibly can be. Um, the first question was somebody asked me where I'm from. I am Malawian by birth, citizenship, all that I am Malawian. And um, I was also asked how old I am. A lady never tells her age, but I will say this, I am in between 25 and 29 so yeah it's up to you now to think so at least that's giving you you know an idea as to how old I am but yeah I'm in between there somewhere mm. and somebody asked me what I'm doing as in school wise I or what where I went to school college and all that I studied at the University of Eastern Africa Barton and I actually studied psychology counseling. Uh, University of Eastern Africa Barton is actually an Adventist University in Kenya and yeah I uh, we've been through a lot with God in that school. I it had its good moments, its bad moments but I learned a lot. I'm grateful for that school and as hard as some of the lessons were I believe it's helped mold me into the person I am today. So um, may God really keep being and blessing with blessing the lecturers that side and all those that are staff members and faculty members well that are staff members and um, just the students I believe that um, it's a really good school and somebody asked me um, if I'm a born-again Christian and what church I go to 
I am a born again Christian and I am a member of the Ad Seventh day Adventist Church. I was not always Adventist, I used to be Catholic from the time I remember, from the time I was born, I was baptized in the Catholic Church. Um, and I joined the Adventist Church in 2001. Not just myself, myself and my sisters, uh, my late mom, uh, we all joined the Adventist Church that year. And I got baptized a year later, but I wasn't too much into the church. So a few years later, when I was in university, and that was in 2013, I believe, if it's not 2012, I got rebaptized. Um, that was after I realized that there were certain truths and certain things that I, I did not know, I was not aware of as a Christian, and I decided to renew my covenant with God, and hence why I got rebaptized. Um, nobody asked me to get rebaptized, it was a personal choice that I wanted to recommit and rededicate my life to God. And um, somebody asked me if I'm married. Um, I'm not married. And no, I do not have any kids. Um, the kids that you often see me put up are my sister's kids, my older sister's kids. My, those are my, that's my niece and nephew. And um, somebody asked me also, um, this was a deep question because this person knows me from back when for I really knew the Lord. So this person asked me, do you ever miss your old life? And what do you do to resist the urges to return to your former self? <sighs> no, I do not miss my old life. Um, there was too much drama in my old life. I. I do not miss it at all. And as far as uh, what do I do to resist the urges to return to my former self, um, you know the problem is I cannot tell you guys that this was the specific time or the specific day God just really revealed all these things to me and I became a different person, like He changed me into who I am. I cannot really say that. I believe it was a process. It was a continual God pursuing me over and over and over again. And with each step, with each um, maybe trial or setback in life that, ha that has happened in my life, in those moments, though I was not aware of it, God was turning, changing my heart, my thoughts, to the point whereby I, would, I, I look back and I can say that I truly cannot pinpoint that this is when I changed. So... It's hard for me to say that um, there are specific things I actually do because it was a process. I can tell you that it started with me realizing, okay, fine, I need to become more, um, I need to make a covenant with God by becoming celibate and, you know, having this pure relationship with my body and with God and not that any man come between me and him it started like that and then it would go to okay I need to not drink anymore not smoke anymore to I need to not do this not do that so it was a process and with those steps that I took that God helped me take I believe that there were those grace you know it's like climb, climbing Jacob's ladder. We don't just find ourselves to the top. We have to climb step, 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 step. Yeah, but anyway. But I also believe that there isn't any temptation that God give, that God allows to come your way that He hasn't given you grace to overcome. And, you know, when we're weak, that's when He is strong, you know. His grace is sufficient in our weaknesses. That's when He, in our weakness, that, when we are weak, that's when He is strong. I believe that also what you do in secret is very important. If you are somebody who will spend a lot of your time praying, meditating on the Word of God when you are by yourself, just like Christ did, he needed to spend more time with God, he needed to spend that alone time with God in order for him to be able to um, commune with other people, in order for him to be able to commune with other people, to face what that day brought his way and it's I, I, would, I would say that is um, the one thing that has really helped me a lot and on my own 
I have not really always I don't always have that um, desire to pray or to read the or meditate the Word of God and that is why I am grateful that I have women and uh, friends in my life who are very prayerful like the ladies I mentioned who um, we, we get on the call conference every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 30 we get on the call conference we pray we share petitions and I have another friend like my best friend she's at home in Malawi but we set aside days whereby we we just say okay let's fast let's pray about this as women we know we're becoming women so we know there are challenges as single women that we would probably face um, especially in our relationship with God and the way the world is set up right now so having all those things around you good company people who help you pray prayer is so important having those people who help you pray even when you yourself don't or don't want to or can't even pray is very important they help uplift you they help lift you up to God and um, having personal time with God that secret time when you're alone when no one is watching you the things you do the things you meditate upon uh, you know if you're feeding um, you know it's like basically what you're feeding yourself will eventually come out so at the end of the day if you are doing your part I believe God will do the rest I hope um, that made sense regarding uh, what I do I cannot say I do one specific thing I think it's God and I'm grateful for the people in my life who always lift me up to God and Alright guys, so that is all I had for you today. I hope you've seen partially how my day went and I hope that this Q&A was a bit more informative, um, that you, you know, have an idea as to who I am. I think this was a good start to a Q&A and thank you to my new subscribers for subscribing. I hope this channel will be a blessing to you guys and if you guys have a specific thing you'd like me to, um, do a video on I would be more than glad to um, prior to this video there was a time I wanted to explain or talk about my celibacy story how God led me into that mind frame of let me be celibate or let me look at relationships this way so that is one of the topics I've been considering if this is something you'd like to um, if you think this topic would be a blessing to you and you would um, like me to share uh, comment below and let me know other than that um, thank you for watching and from given to give ministries see you next time be blessed bye guys